Hi guys, welcome back to another video. What we have today is a 2011 Seat uh, Leon. She's 1.6 CAYC. She's 1.6 diesel. So the same as a Caddy or some of these things. Fall caught if the issue is, if you can see it and turn my scan tool, is the, there we go, check engine light on there. If you can see it, um, key is on. Engine is off at this point in time. Fall code I have stored here is P003000. Sometimes on some of the Volkswagens they can be a generic P0 code but lose the two Lose the two last zeros there. So what you'd normally see is a P0, P0030. So what we have is O2 sensor heater circuit. Bank one, sensor one, all right? That's the fault code we have and the reason for our check engine light being on. So we're gonna go after this today. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take a look at a wiring diagram. Bit of noise in the background, apologies lads. And if they do, okay, that on auto data we're at the picking picking the vehicle that we need. So she's a, as I said there, a two thousand. Say it, Leon. Two thousand eleven. Sorry, say it, Leon. One point six diesel, and there is our heated oxygen sensor. Now, if you're looking and we zoom in to that. You can actually see the little hand I'm pointing with the stylist, wherever it may be, at the heating element. So that little bit, I'll use the icon here, okay? That little bit, no, that's good. Little bit, the little wiggly, I won't do it anyway. The little wiggly line there is the heating element, okay? So for the heating element, it's hard enough now to see it. That wire here, we have a white wire here, but on a white background, it's hard to see. That's going to be the control wire for the heater, which is going to be pulse width modulated, coming down, around, back up, and into the heating element of the oxygen sensor. The other one then is coming out, it's blue at the block connector of the lambda sensor. I'm saying yellow at the block connector, but from the block connector back or the wiring harness of the vehicle, it's blue and red, as you can see. Now, if we follow the wire over here and up, pull our, our screen with us. Keep on going all the way up and across. You can see the wire is heading straight across. There is no, it'll show you a little circular thing if it's joined into any of these wires. So it's only one complete wire heading all the way over. My finger going onto the screen, guys. Sorry. So this is running all the way up to Fuse F21. And that is that blue and red wire that was going to the heater. So if we get to the car, what we should do is we should be able to see 12 volts, or at least battery voltage, whatever, whether it's running, 13 or 14, or if it's key on engine off, 12, 12.6 I suppose would be a good battery. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna have a look. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna to go to the fuses. I'm gonna go down to my Lambda sensor and I'll back probe here, and hopefully on this blue wire there, I get 12 volts on a multimeter. That's what I'm gonna be looking for right now, okay? So the next step is go after voltage here, to see where we're coming from or going to. Okay guys, out underneath the bonnet for a visual check. Lambda sensor one, as we saw on our fault code there, is sitting there, wearing loom is heading back, and it's heading over to here, so our Lock connector is coming as far as here. As we saw on our wiring diagram, there's a, our blue wire that we were looking at or looking for. At the other side of that, and my finger is there, it goes straight across. And on the other side of the block connector, it's blue and red. You can see it there, hard to get the camera into it. Now I'm back probing that. While I'm back probing that, I don't know, a drop, a drop, dropped out of my, dropped down the windscreen and down onto my phone. Anyway, while I'm back probing that, I'm looking for 12 volts, but lo and behold, I don't have 12 volts, I have 2.4 volts. So, where is this coming from? Is it a bad connection? It's 2.4 volts. 
or is it a bias voltage that's coming down here from the other wire down through the heating element of the lambda sensor and back out. We'll get in and have a look and just see because that wire looked on the diagram like it was connected not another and straight directly to a fuse so in theory we shouldn't have any bias voltage sitting in there. What I might do just while I'm sitting there if I can do it single-handedly I'm trying to disconnect the block connector now when I'm using a tab. I see it ain't working there. Really. I don't think it's working here. Eh? No, I'm gonna have to leave my hands go to get my second hand on if I pause it. Okay, I have got my second hand out and I have unplugged my lambda sensor while it's still back probed and our voltage dropped to zero volts. So the voltage is not the voltage is not from a fuse right now, it's a biased voltage. So I'm sorry, the sun is shining in here on my computer. Um so what I'm I'm suggesting is that that wire, I'm going F21 here, is coming all the way down, across, down, which we know of, down around, up and into our lambda sensor. We are back probing at this point right here. That back probing that's happening there is giving us two and a half volts. What I'm suggesting is is that is a bias voltage coming from pin number 73 in the engine ECU down through that white wire down around into our yellow wire up through the element and we are picking up that here once we unplugged that little block connector there the bias voltage from the ecu wasn't getting in and getting through the element anymore of the lambda sensor and we lost the bias voltage here okay so i'm thinking that maybe this could be as simple as a wire broken or a fuse blowing blown and why did the fuse blow? If it's a blow, fuse, why did that blow? But anyway, we'll get in there, we'll have a look. I do know a little bit of history on this car that happened over Christmas. Um, so maybe... I go over. Right, what am I thinking? Maybe I'll wait and see and be sure, but what I'm thinking is that maybe this girl had rang me over Christmas while I was locked down. She locked lights all over the place and I didn't feel like going to work, so what I done was I went back, looked at all the data and stuff, sent her on videos of what to check and what to look for. So maybe, maybe, how will I even put up, could put in a snippet of a video or something that what she sent me so I could help her. Maybe she's been playing with fuses. I'll send you, I'll put a picture in, in the next screen here, where I sent her what fuses to be checking and testing in order to rightify her problem. Maybe she was fooling, she would have, she had to have been fooling fuses in order to fix what I was getting her to fix herself rather than me doing it. So maybe she'd pull the fuse out and put it in the wrong place. Maybe we don't have a fuse in here. I'll put up the, the screenshot of what I had. Okay, and see where we go. We'll go and have a look. Okay guys, there's our F21 just sitting there. I have pulled the cover off of the actual fuse box and lo and behold, this girl has left that out of it. Now up here, I can see Remember the familiarity, big fuses here, relay here, four of them going long, three up here, F21 sitting down here. There is no fuse, or at least it's not allocated anything according to our diagrams, okay? We have this for engine management. It says petrol here, a little bit confusing. And brake pedal. So there's something in all of the other fuses but if we look at it here, we have engine management in here and I have nothing here. I also have nothing here. So we'll just see if she has her fuse in the right place. Here we go. Let's see what we find. Them. Okay. I've just pulled this off a moment ago. F21. F19, according to our Actually, we didn't have a, we don't have a relay in there. I just have a, have a bridging pin. There's the position where our four fuses would be. Uh, I believe that that's doing nothing, and that she put it in in the wrong place from the video. If you stay, I will. Ooh. Catch it in. Loser, twelve volts. Twelve volt back. Gary put the fuse in the wrong place. Now, your volumeter. 
is on the back probe in here and I never took it out and I never turned it off, okay? So, lo and behold, there it is. What is the, the moral of the story here? I'm helping the girl out, I suppose, by giving her as much information as I could over Christmas. Um, stay tuned and I will put in a bit of bonus footage. It's not going to be very good because it wasn't sent to me and I didn't send stuff to her in order to put it on YouTube. I was just trying to give her an answer so she could actually get her lights going over Christmas while um, stopped. It's kind of a funny one. I'll have to pinpoint there exactly where this 30 amp fuse as well that she changed. She gave me a screenshot of what she took out and she gave me a video of what was gone, but she lost a headlight and an indicator on the right hand side, taillight on the left hand side, blah, blah, blah. Fuse for a body control module was gone, but I gave her five or six fuses and I will put up a little bit of a badly edited bonus footage, if that's what we're going to call it, just to see. But look, lo and behold, we have found a problem here. She said the check engine light wasn't on before she went at this crack, so she just pulled out the fuse, put it in the wrong place. Other ones are in the right place. I'm happy enough with this. That is it. We some another lad could have thrown in a lambda sensor on it. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe it's long winded. I don't know. Please like and subscribe. Um, loving that I'm getting subscribers along the way. Loving that some of you like my videos, and that's it. Stay tuned for the the bonus footage if you want to see it of why this has happened to her. Okay, guys, 2011. Say it on 1.6 CAYC Lambda Sensor Heating Opens Heating Element Open Circuit. Guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you next cartoon. Sound bye. Okay, guys, this is the little bit of bonus footage. Now, what we have, and you saw we were chasing after that. I'm going to clear them all there in a second. What I didn't show and what this girl contacted me over Christmas with was this. She, she didn't know fault codes what she said to me was so we see here terminal 30 right open circuit intermittent we had left dip bulb right dipped light uh, left tail light right tail light uh, lamp for brake light left blinkers front right they're all short to short with power open circuit are short with power um, high beams right Fog lamps right, blinkers rear left, uh, third brake light, it's one of the boot door, uh, all the same thing, short power, license plate, X open, uh, rear fog lamp, backup lights, side lights, blinkers. Now look, you, you can see there's lights all over the place. I'm not saying that all of these happened on the day. They could be history here for years that no one has ever uh, cleared faults in there but the long and short of it is when she did contact me that's no no concern to me when she did contact me she was after losing a lot of lights and couldn't couldn't figure out what the hell was going on so i just tried to help out looked up diagrams and stuff and tried to point her in the right direction what we're going to do now we're going to clear fault codes and that will hopefully get rid of our our engine management issue have it stuck back together under the bonnet is closed down. I put the cover back on it. Very simple, very easy. And uh, we'll pop in here and just have a look. This bonus footage is only a start, but I stick in a few screenshots of what and why she would have had this issue with the fuse being moved around. Okay, so we've no fault codes there now. I haven't even ran it, but I don't think I need to. The fuse was gone. You saw we had no voltage and we had it when we changed it. So look, um, keep watching for the badly stuck together a few bits and pieces of stuff okay how, how good i can do it i don't know but i will just show you why this happened Okay, just from what I've seen on the lights not working on, on the car, anyway, what we have. Here's our headlight assembly on the right hand side. You have no indicator working there and no headlight working. But we can see that they're getting a, a ground separately down here, if you can see where my little icon is. And from there, your separate lamps are being wired directly from a multifunction control module here so it's it's this thing that in theory not sending power out to your headlight on numerous and multiple lights now when you come up the top this module and what i said before i have seen to happen 
is I saw this is in the outside if we can see it there this is in the outside fuse box relay plate in the engine bay okay I have seen that 30 amp fuse there to blow and that wasn't sending power into the module which stopped or didn't allow the module to have the power to send out to certain lights okay you can see your tail light one of the tail lights which is over here is not getting the uh, power as well but look where i'm not concerned about that right now what i'm going to be saying is that you check these fuses underneath they're the image that i meant to send you the second image i sent you was that the first image is that one that's inside in the car it's called fascia one here okay um check those fuses i have numbered them there as well f1 f4 f2 f13 f17 f24 I'm not going to be wickedly concerned about that one i'd say it's hardly at the blown it's an 80 amp fuse out at the battery uh, I'd say then in here, check F7, F3, F26, F16, and F22, okay, Marguerite? That's those. If that doesn't work, you may need to give me, touch base with me, and I'll get you to drop the car down, and we'll see. But there's a starting point. If you think you'll be able to check them, uh, if not, give me a ring, and I'll get you to drop the car down to me, okay? Hopefully that'll help you.